100 for 100. This podcast where we take 100 films that I think all new film watchers, film goers, movie watchers, movie lovers should be out there checking out when you're trying to develop your tastes and what you really want to get out of film. These are 100 films that I think you need to start out with. I took these 100 films and then I ranked them. I racked and stacked them from 100 to 1 because... It was a terrible idea at the time. It's a terrible idea now. But here we are. We're deep up in it. And we are at today number 70. Number 70 on our list. We have yesterday, if you remember, we talked about Thelma and Louise, the 1991 joint. I think it was 91. 1991 joint, yeah. Directed by Ridley Scott. Today, we are doing back-to-back Scots. We got 2000's Gladiator. Directed by a young Mr. Scott. Uh, man, one of that, I think, pound for pound, possibly, possibly the last great epic that we had where we're due for a good old fashioned epic, maybe Irish. I don't know if you consider it an epic. Anyways, uh, Gladiator, let's get down on this 100 word review that we have for this film <clears throat> featuring a stellar performance. By Russell Crowe, Gladiator is a great entry into the oft-forgotten sweeping epics reminiscent of the 1960s. Ridley Scott is in full control of his abilities as he tells the story of Maximus, betrayed soldier turned Roman gladiator. Opposite Crowe, Joaquin Phoenix delivers a deliciously reviling turn as the power-hungry Commodus. Strong notes of loyalty and brotherhood play throughout as Maximus and the Senate struggle to rightfully restore Rome. With a score from composer Hans Zimmer that is both melancholy and rousing, Gladiator is a worthy addition to the sword and sandal epic that it pays homage to. Yeah, don't let the runtime put you off on this. I uh, I am a firm believer in good long movies. I love a good movie. I love a long movie. I really love a good long film. Don't give me that Attack of the Clones. I don't want a long bad film. Give me that long goodness. Don't let a runtime of a movie deter you. Um, you know the old argument, but you can binge three episodes back to back to back, then you can do one good long movie. Uh, you know, in a day where people are always hustling to and fro to do this, do this, do this, you know, it feels better to check off three episodes of something than it does one long movie. I understand those the numbers game if you want to play it that way, but uh, never be deterred from uh, from just really enveloping. That's the good thing about a long movie like this, like your long epics, is it really envelops you into the world, the world that they have made. And the world they made here of Asian Rome and the gladiator pits and the Senate. Um, you know, and where where the gladiators kind of hang out when they're not out there battling. You know, it's 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 a world that you can fully get behind. It's very realized, and and it looks lived in. Everything's just sandy and dusty. You know, every, everything like all the leather just creaks all over the place. You know that kind of stuff. Uh, this movie is excellent. I think this is the finest acting performance that Russell Crowe has given that I can think of. Some people might say L.A. Confidential. I don't know. Uh, maybe Cinderella Man. But I think this is the finest. Uh, you, I think no one else could play this role like Russell Crowe could play it. I don't think anybody else could direct it quite like Ridley Scott does. Um, not the uh, last time they worked together. I know they worked together on American Gangster and I think uh, something else. It, but just make time for this. Just just come to love the character that is Max. He's almost too wholesome. But uh, I, I do love a character that... He has his convictions, uh, and he will stick to those convictions whether or not the things turn out unwell for him, I guess is the best way to say it. That's kind of what Maximus is, and I admire that about Maximus. And Joaquin Phoenix, man. Uh, he does uh, slimy, weasley characters very, very well. You look at this. You look at Joker. Uh, he's just good at playing just people you generally don't want to kick it with. Uh, hopefully it doesn't say anything about uh, Joaquin Phoenix himself, but uh, he knows how to get into those head spaces of those characters and play them well. Uh, yeah, this this is a good one, man. This is a great one. Then the action scenes, like the actual gladiator fights are a wonderfully choreographed and wonderfully shot. The camera work always sweeping around. It's, it's, it is a circular pit, and you see a lot of uh, 
a lot of circling around of the uh, of the gladiators that are in the uh, in the and Jaimon Hunsu in there as well. It's great camera work. It's great choreography. It's great editing of the fight scenes as well. They do a great job of cutting in between wide close up, extreme close up, medium shots. Um, it's wonderful to see. If uh, like I said, just Sunday. If you got a Sunday morning and nothing else is happening, man, or if you got a Friday night, just turn off all the lights, man, and just let yourself get immersed in the world that is our number 70 pick gladiator 